Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have a date in the park, which is supposed to be some kind of maybe horror game. From what I saw on the store page, I didn't really get a good look at it, but I think it's point and click maybe. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm really bad about reading the summaries on games I download. I know it was made by the same people that made, uh, uh, what was that thing? That thing with Kevin the Mouse, I can't remember what it was called off the top of my head. Or at least it was on the same page as it anyways. I don't know if it was made by the same people. Oh, that's kind of creepy looking. Well, this is it. Tapata de Necessad Daddies. <laughs> God. Necessad Necessadads. I can't believe I've only been in Lisbon for a week and I've already met the most beautiful woman in the city. Katarina is her name. I met her in a bar last night and we talked for hours. She was absolutely enchanting. Yeah, this is definitely point and click. It looks like it. The last thing she said as she hopped into the taxi was meet me tomorrow at the Tapada das Nest the Nessus I'm killing this. I'm so sorry. Necessidad's by the duck pond at twelve PM. Oh, I'm sorry for butchering your language. And well, here I am. I'm on time, so hopefully she'll be. She's in there somewhere. Left click on something to interact with it. Right click to look at it. Move the cursor at the top of the screen to access your inventory and settings. Once inside the park, you may right click on exits to automatically travel to them. Do note that most backgrounds scroll, so be sure to look around. Door's locked. The door's locked, but I don't think I need to go in there. What about this sign? Signs are all in Portuguese, but I assume they are saying something about parking or traffic. Lisbon is a great city for walking around in. I don't think I will even need to buy a car. Okay. I just got here. I'm not going to leave without seeing Katarina. I don't have anything to throw away. Okay, interesting. This park looks lush. Disculpe, senor. Hello? Oh, bilete de entrado custa tres euros. I ain't got no euros, dude. Ah, do you speak English? No. No pode entrar. Tim que comprar o bilete primero. He wants three euros, dude. You got any euros? From the tone of his voice, I'm getting that you can't go in there sort of vibes. I should try and have a chat at his window. Okay. Hello? Disculpe de sa entrar no parque. I'm so sorry. Portuguese people. Uh, English? Now. Ah, euros. So euros? Sim. It's euros. <laughs> I think I need to give him three euros to enter the park. Do I have three euros? I can see someone lurking in the shadows behind the windows. I have a handkerchief. I have a wallet. You want this? You want some wallet? Here's the entrance fee. Obrigado, agora já pode entrar no parque. Thank you. Tome um mapa de parque. Tenha um resto de um bom dia. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, thanks. God dang it. Uh, he's given me a map of the park. Okay, what do I do with it? We have a map. And we're in. In like Flynn. The park stretches off in two directions. I can instantly see why Katarina loves this place so much. It's beautiful. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I've got a date to meet. I've never been what you would call lucky in love. I left behind a string of failed relationships back in London. I guess I've just met, never met someone who truly clicked with me. I know it's way too early to say, but I have a feeling that Katarina does, really does seem different from the others. I mean, I'd only just met her and there were we were discussing our most private of thoughts with each other. Is it normal to open up so quickly to someone? I just felt so comfortable. I've never discussed the death of my parents last, what the heck, last year with anyone until last night. It just seemed natural and she oozed genuine, genuine compassion. Does she speak English? I deserve a break. That's what she said to me over and over again. With a very reassuring flash, flash of her beautiful smile, I just can't wait to see her again. Okay. Anyway, focus. Let's find the duck pond. Okay, let's look at the map. 
this is where we are. Judging by the quality of this map, I don't think the Poker 30 here has a very big budget. Pretty big place, though. There seems to be a couple of ponds. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that map doesn't help me. Let's look at the fountain. This water is cool and refreshing to the touch. The fountain is spurting away pleasantly. I don't feel like sitting down right now. Okay. Let's go this way. Tree lines to the edge of the park. I can just see the walls beyond the foliage. It's beautiful. Humans need to spend more time in places like this. Give me a tree over an iPod any day. Okay, dude. Try not to make a habit of lurking around undergrowth. Can I not go that way? Is that not a path? I guess not. Is this it? Did we find it? A park bench. Is this a duck pond? It doesn't look like one to me, dude. Oh, there's a duck, though, so it has to be. What's up, duck? What is that behind you? Is that a frog or a bee? Looks like a bee. What is that? Oh, it's a baby duck? That gave me cold chills walking at me. That baby duck is creepy looking. Avlak! <laughs> okay. Well, that confirms it. It's a duck pond, all right. I wonder where she is. I think she said something about a bench beside the pod. Well, that's a bench beside the pond. Or am I making that up? My memory is hazy. There's another pond on the map to the north. Maybe I should check that out. Or we sit down at the bench and wait. Duckling seems to be having some trouble getting over the curb of the pond. All right, let's pick that dude up. I'll throw you in there. In you go, buddy. What about crap? Oh, I thought he was going to die for real. Okay, good job, boss. And off they go. Hopefully this gives me some good karma returning mother and child. Hopefully. Or just stay on my feet. Perhaps I should take... Oh, whatever. See the entrance area down that southern path. The northern option goes deeper into the park. What do you mean? Map. I don't know. I don't know. What is this? <coughs> up, statue? The statue is old and crumpling. Nothing of interest here. You sure? An impressive and rather odd looking statue of a male Roman god. A small plaque at it. Space seems to suggest his name is Sancus. Sancus. He has a heroic, a slightly smug expression. Does he want to fight? Let me in! The gate is locked with several massive padlocks. Beyond it is a tiny staircase which spirals down the outer wall of the park. It's probably a 20 meter drop to the bottom. Lisbon is one hilly city. Some sort of emergency exit gate which is amusing in that it's secured with a multitude of heavy duty padlocks. Yeah, who doesn't want us to get out of here? Weird. What's well, over this way? Another junction. The sound of the birds chirping away in the trees is very peaceful. I'm loving this place. Let's talk on the phone. The phone. Bling bling. It's dead. I guess you have to insert some coins. I know where we can find coins. Who's this? Can I look at this? It's a Polaroid photo that Katarina took of both of us at the bar last night. Oh, they look... Boy, she's beautiful, alright. Alright. Oh, I got an achievement. Eye of the Beholder. Dang, you today ain't she uglier game? Is that what you're saying? I got one out of nine achievements. Okay. Let's look at our wallet. I used my last coins to get in the park. I've only got notes left. Besides, I don't actually have Katarina's number. Whatever. Seems this is a very old-fashioned date. Oh. Where does this go? No need to climb it. I don't want to topple it over. A very grand plant pot. Okay. All right. Where are we at now? This is a little charming, little secluded area. I think I can see water up ahead. 
come back here with Katarina. It's romantic. Okay. Ah, what's up? Ah, human life form. I was beginning to wonder if I was alone in this place. Katarina's not here, though, and I can't see any ducks. I guess she meant the other one. That's not mine to roam around in. The rucksack presumably belongs to the gardener. What's up, dude? Hi there. Bom dia, senor. I'm looking, my friend. I wonder if you might have seen her. Sculpe now fellow English. You don't speak English? Ah, I think that means no English. I'm afraid my Portuguese is nothing to write home about either. Why would you go here? Senor Tenha Cuidado. I know that means be careful. V Uma Molar Estrana Intra Os Arbustos. Tina Om Alar Estrano Para. This is like magic. Parsio Malaka. It's like I'm doing a magic spell that I can't read. Tenha Cuidado, Senor. I'm afraid I don't understand, but thank you for your time. He seems distracted by something in the bushes. I really need to start learning Portuguese. Facebook will arrive in a couple days. I ordered one online. It can't come soon enough, really. I'm just thankful Katarina speaks perfect English. Also, she does speak English. Strange living in a country where you don't even speak the language. Strange. It just doesn't feel like you are truly there. Who knows? What are we, why are you talking to me? Why are you looking straight at me? Who knows what sort of hilarious conversations I could be pulling right now with the gardener. If only I could pull finger and get learning. Oh, we got another achievement. He's staring off in the bushes. There doesn't seem to be anything over there. It does say be careful though. So that means we need to go over there. Fancy idea. Skinny dipping here with Katarina. Oh yes. It's a bit murky but nice. There's something very peaceful about ponds. Alright man, I'll see you later dude. Excuse me. Can I go up this way? No? Okay. We're going backwards then. What's this way? I wonder. What an impressive dome building. I wonder what this is for. I don't know. The door is finally locked and bolted. Firmly locked and bolted. There's a sign, little sign behind, beside the door. All it says is Casa de Adrestia. Even with my absolute ignorance of the Portuguese language, I'm pretty sure that means House of Adrestia. Whatever that is. So, the odd building. There's some sort of bus figure across the way. Maybe it used to be a greenhouse or something. Not stretch Armstrong, that's too far away. Perhaps that is Adressia, a goddess of some kind, perhaps. I don't know my classics very well. Oh, we got another achievement. Let's go. We're getting achievements like crazy in this game. There's nothing on the table. I might come back here with Katarina. It's nice to sit in the shade. It really is getting rather hot. Why are we exploring this place when we don't even speak the language? Is a good question. Ooh, what is that? Those are pigeons? Whilst these pigeons do look slightly less manky than the ones back in London, I still have no attention of touching them. Well, it's a pigeon, pigeon feeding frenzy. Weird. Yeah, this is weird. Better keep looking around. Okay. Since you hate benches for some reason. Me, on the other hand, I really like benches, so. Find that out there. There's a building up ahead. Sure. Building we. What is this? Up statue. I don't want to go around sticking my hands up random dirty old pipes. Piper drain. I want, guess this is where the water comes from to fill up this little pond in front of the statue. The statue is smooth and cold to the touch and does not exhibit any signs of secret buttons or levers. The statue of some Roman god. He's missing his head. You sure there's no secret buttons on this bad boy? What about this one? This one might have a secret button. A bit heavy to pick up or move, besides there's nothing unusual about it. Okay. Oh, we got another statue achievement. Statue fan. Door. What's in the door? Locked. 
The door is locked and bolted. Weird. Aha! Finally, we have some English translation. The statue on the left is Vajoyvis, god of healing and goodwill. The statue on the right is Purpus, god of gardens. There's more information in Portuguese, but that's all I get in English. Well, that sucks. I remember Katarina saying she had an interest in classics. She must like these statues. Okay. Interesting. What is this? Not my job to scrub off graffiti. There's rambling symbolism of some local team, no doubt. What is this window? What did we just do? The window doesn't open. It's more of a design feature. Peering inside, all I can see is an empty room with wishwash walls. I don't think I'm going to find anything interesting in there, but we'll look anyway. It's this large window, although it doesn't appear to open. Okay, whatever. Whatever. There, let's go this way. There are a lot of places to go, but I haven't found many things to do. What is this house? I heard a noise over by the building. I should check it out. Yeah, why not? Uh, hmm, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I think I explored the whole park. Have I been stood up? No way. <sighs> just my luck. No, I can't always be so negative. Okay, she'll turn up. I just need to keep looking and be patient. The trams aren't too reliable. Perhaps she's just caught up in traffic. Maybe I should just go back to that duck pond. Maybe explore our achievement. Dang, we got most of the achievements. How many more are there? A friend in need. Uh, we got about half. Half the achievements. Let's go in here. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Door's locked. Can we look in the window? I feel like there should be somewhere to go over here. Whatever, we'll go back to the pond like he suggested. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we not go this way? Okay, I guess not. Unless I find a machete, I'm not getting through there. Well, we don't have a machete right now, so we'll go this way. Duck pond. At least in this game, I can click him like correctly. No go where I tell him to. That's nice. That's a nice feature. Well, I think I've explored the whole park. Here we go. Have I been stood up? Ah, just my luck. No, I can't always be so negative. Okay, she'll turn up. I just need to keep looking and be patient. The trams aren't too reliable. Perhaps she just got caught up in traffic. Maybe I should just go back to that duck pond. Then we go to the duck pond. Ah, oh, mother and child are back. Still no sign of Katarina, though. And that duck said, Screw you, baby duck. What the hell? Still breathing. Maybe I can help it. Feel so guilty. This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't helped it into the pond. Oh gosh, there's blood all over this little guy. I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. Oh, uh, sorry. I know what to do. Well, my handy dandy handkerchief. I'll wrap him up in this hanky. Keep him in my pocket. He seems to be breathing okay, but definitely needs some attention. I'll take him to the vet where I find when I find Katerina. That's if she ever arrives. This is turning into a bit of a stinker. Oh great, to top it off, I've got its blood smudged on my shirt. But, I have to help the little duckling. I'd feel too bad otherwise. Always a sucker for cute animals. In fact, I think I'll give him a name. Bubby. That's what we call him the first time, that's his name now. Ah yes, Bubby is a fine name. It's going to be okay, Bubby. I will look after you. Sure. I'd rather keep looking around. I could be sitting here all day otherwise. Hey, I heard footsteps behind me. Maybe it's Katarina. Whoa, box. Hello? Katarina? What's this then? It's a box. Got my name on the top. 
gift from Cupid. What is she playing at? <laughs> uh, wonder what's inside. Let's find out. No, I'm such a goof and I can't catch it. The balloon had some sort of note attached to the bottom. I can't see where it's gone, but it seemed to be heading north. I should try and find it. I must say, this is all rather romantic. Super romantic. The most romantic. This glitches again, I'm just gonna give up on it. But I hope it plays through this time so you guys can see the ending. Do do do. What does this tale have in tale store for me and Bubby? <laughs> okay. All right. The blue landed in the pond. Oh no. We can't go in and reach it, of course not. Damn it, the balloon is out of reach. You didn't really try to grab it though. There's definitely an envelope attached to it. I need to reach it somehow. As stupid as it sounds, being surrounded by trees and all, I haven't seen any sticks or branches lying around. And I don't really want to start damaging trees. Wouldn't want to trouble the gardener. I'd like to see if I can find something else to help me before I resort to trap snapping trees to pieces. So we're going to go through that bag and get that thing we said we weren't going to do earlier. Hmm, maybe there's something in here that can help me get that balloon. Fingers crossed the gardener doesn't catch me. Oh, don't worry about him. There's nothing much of interest in here, to be honest. Mainly little packs of seeds. There's a key here. I'll take it. I, it might be helpful. I'll be sure to put it back before I leave the park. That's an achievement, by the way. Putting it back is an achievement, if you're curious. That's one of the achievements I missed during my initial playthrough of this game. And if you have any questions about the achievements, let me know. I know how to get them, but I don't think they'll all be covered in the video because this is not my initial playthrough. I can't remember exactly what gave me what achievement. But pretty much while you're playing through it, except for the key one where you give it back to the janitor and the one with the pigeons, it's pretty straightforward. As long as you like find your way through the game. So just watch me play if you do what I do. If you're an achievement hunter, you'll get the achievements most likely. Let's see. Wish I could jump with the minimap now that I know where everything is. Oh, use the key. Bubby, what are you doing in there? Open sesame. I wonder what's inside. There is no sign of anyone in here. It's just shelves of dusty gardening equipment and lots of manure. Very stinky manure. Hmm, there's a two meter long telescopic hoe in here. <laughs> that might help me get the blow. I'll take it. For the low price of free... I'm stealing things. Now we go back to the pond to get the balloon. The balloon. Yeah, this game was pretty straightforward, which is kind of nice because most point and clicks while you're playing them are very freaking hard to navigate, in my opinion. The pigeons are gone. There should be something around here that I can mess with. Yeah, what is that? So there's this stone head. There's a, it's a stone head. Looks like a Roman god or something. It appears to be freshly uncovered by the pigeons. Strangest thing about it is there's an A carved into the forehead. A, is this treasure? Am I rich now? I'll ask Katarina about it when I see her. I recall she said she likes study classics. There's an old head achievement, so that's all you have to do is look at the old head that the pigeons uncovered. That's one of the ones I missed as well, so. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. I need to use my periscope to get this balloon. Give me the envelope! This should be long enough to pull in the balloon. If this isn't recording, I'll be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. Got it. Dear Lou, I hope you don't mind, but as you said last night that you enjoy mystery so much, 
I thought we'd play this little game. I hope you like the song, Katarina. Well, I do like mysteries. We talked about it last night. She was amused by my subscription to 14 times. I wonder if this constitutes a normal day in Portugal. At least I know she's in the park. I've got butterflies in my stomach. But before I can see her, it seems I shall have to indulge in this game of hers. Who knows? This could be great fun. Now what does she mean when I, she says, I hope you like this song. I should take a look around, I guess. So now we put the key back in the bag. And we get the last achievement that I missed last time. I guess I can put this back now. Hey, a good Samaritan achievement. We did it. Alright, now we're going to the music box stage, which will be up here. This is actually one of the harder puzzles in the game, is figuring out how to get the music box out of the thing, because you have to communicate, you have to interact with the objects in a certain order for to let you play with the pump. I can hear music playing very softly. This must relate to Katarina's clue. Now where is it coming from? Ouch. Bubby bit me. That stings. Bad Bubby. Poor little guy must be getting distressed. No long to wait, buddy. Don't worry. Not long to wait. I can't read. Okay. So now we got... The music is louder here. It must be coming from around the statue. We got right click the hole. Peering into the pipe, I can see the faint glint of an object. This looks like a tiny box, a music box. Okay, now we go over here, right? We interact with this pump contraption. I wonder if this can help me get the music box. If you don't look at the music box, it won't help you. So, you have to make... I think it's this side all black, the green side. You gotta make that all black. Then you hit the green button. There was a sound of some sort of mechanism there. Me mechanism. Mechanism. And that should have washed out the music box, right? Yeah. Success. The pump has refilled the little pool, bringing the music box out with its flow. Grab it. It's a small battery operated music box. There's nothing remarkable about it from the outside, but I wonder what's inside. Well done on finding this clue, dear Lou. As you can see, I've lost my head for you. Come and meet me at the house of Pre home of Priapus. XXX. Cute. Finally, it looks like I'm going to see her. It's rather exciting. All right, Bubby, let's go. Although, what does she mean by home of Priapus? Another wonder awaits. So at first, I thought that was another one of the statues, but it's actually this one with no head, which is the gardening god or whatever. So that gives you the clue that you're supposed to go to the gardener's house. So that's where we're going to go. The home of Priapus. And another box. What's this? Another box. Well, it's a bit small for her to pop out of, so I guess it's another clue. So we go to the box. It's got weird stains on it. No thanks. Let's see what she has in store for me now. Oh my god! What the hell? Jesus, it's the gardener! He looks like he just pooped himself. She killed him. What the hell? I, I, I can't believe this. I need to get out of here. Yes, you do. Bloody duckling bit me again. Just throw it away, dude. Can I throw the duckling away? No, I'm not gonna save you, Bubby. You're gonna I'm gonna chuck you out into the wilderness. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's the police. I can hear a siren. What the hell is going on? Hola? Phone is off the hook and it seems like someone is on the line. Someone has been here. Perhaps I can alert this person to the situation. Hello? There's been a murder at the Tapado Des Necessidades Park. Please contact the police. Um, policia estare dentro de algum minutos. Arg, I don't understand. Click. That's an achievement. Picking up the phone's an achievement. Hello? They hung up. Alright, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> 
I've been framed. Arg. It's the rest of the gardener. Holy crap, it's the popo. Pare fique onde esta now say mexa mouse so r. I think ponha as mouse no r. Ja? I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. Do you speak English? Ponha no as mouse no r. Hands in the air, I think that means. Fique onde esta u as u despero now say mexa. Haven't done anything wrong. Kala SA. Arg, it bit me again. Levante es mouse e large e mama. Ow, he's not letting go. Wait. Headshot. O suspeto es no cha. Repito no espeto no esta no chao. Poso que formar que evitama esta morta via. Procurar a testimona que fez a chamada envium reforcos se faz fevar. There she is! And then she shanked him in the head. <laughs> My thing is, doesn't that screw up her whole plan to frame me? Because the police officer just reported that she, he killed me. And then she killed him. So that makes it pretty obvious that she killed him. But we don't get that kind of closure in this game. But it was pretty neat. Like, it was a pretty neat game. How she, like, framed me, like, perfectly, but the duckling got me bit in the end, so I died. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Hopefully it recorded this time, so I can upload it. If not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it was an interesting game. I, I wish they'd give you a little bit more backstory. Maybe it's something I could understand if I was spoke uh, Portuguese, but I don't at all. But yeah, this just teaches you not to go to another country and try to pick them on chicks. It's a trap. Always. <laughs> it's always a trap. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. And uh, yeah, I don't know why she killed like she went to that late to kill the gardener, frame me to kill the gardener, unless she was just a psychopath, which is possible, who knows? But yeah. And I apologize again for butchering the Portuguese language. I butcher the English language all the time, so I guess Portuguese is not deserves the same kind of treatment. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!